Sports and today we have to do a quick video review of the Puma 19.1 Evo Speed bowling boot right so this is the bowling boot for 2020 obviously we know the colorway has changed yet again for 2021 right so this is the Puma 19.1 in the blue green and white colorway right so as most bowling boots start off with we start off with the strap right i must say the strap is a little flimsy and uh, it's very stiff i don't understand why it's so stiff but of course everything has a reason right central lacing system there's an all-in-one upper that the um, puma has went with so there's this sock liner which is made out of a nice neoprene material right um very soft inside um the inside is not removable which is very strange right so how do i clean my boots after the season is done especially where they give you the sock liner here i would imagine that it will be very difficult to clean inside of this shoe but all right so puma tends to go with this latex like structure to the top of the shoe right it adds a certain amount of rigidity to the shoe too much rigidity as far as i'm concerned but of course that's just my take right it makes the shoe extremely stiff and of course puma adds this rubberized texture into the front of the shoe right and also goes a little way inside of your toe area Right, and that adds protection against when your foot against dragging of your foot when you're while you're bowling right to give that shoe a little extra durability to the front also to withstand if you choose to use the shoe for batting to withstand those um yorkers on them i must say the front of the shoes are a lot stiffer than the adidas right and that's just added protection and that's that's fine quite fine right of course this shoe is a a high cut right which i think adidas has went away from a little bit and start giving me these mid mid cut boots right but puma choose to go with a high cut design right a lot of bowlers like the high cut shoe because it adds a little bit of extra stability around the ankle area right so there's a pull tab to help you put on the shoe because of this sock liner here that would um help lock your foot inside but also will give you a little bit of problem to get your foot inside of the shoe that's itself right so of course there is 11 spikes right as we know most bowling boots are full spike if not all um, same configuration from the last shoes that Puma done they didn't change anything with regards to the sole plate right I must say that this bowling boot isn't as heavy as I thought it would be even with the spikes screwed in um, I'm not saying it's the lightest on the market but I'm saying it's not as heavy as it used to be right I don't particularly like the colorway but to each his own i know puma usually tends to go for nice exciting colors i'm a more simple guy myself um, one thing i've always liked about the puma brand is that they give you they give you this wonderful key that is very durable and lasts you longer than the shoe right um adidas tends to give you the uh, flimsy key that tends to bend as the time progresses this is one of the better keys right and also easier on your fingers when these spikes and them get stuck in your shoe right um of course if you don't remove your spikes often then you may not have too much of problems because you will be doing a little tightening from time to time but if you play on different surfaces and you need to remove your spikes then these are really 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 good right rather than the other flimsy one that is given by adidas puma does so wonderfully well as well is that they give you these rubber spikes right of course they don't give you enough rubber spikes to change over every spike in your shoe but they give you just enough to change the spikes on the back right so if you choose to bowl in a half spike or you choose to bat in a half spike they give you enough to change out these four back on both sides of the shoe into rubber spikes and that is that is, that is nice that is good marketing and that is actually very very thoughtful of, of, of Puma and Adidas should take note that is one of the things that I really, really like about Puma they tend to look after their customers really really well with regards to small accessories and details like these right um, all in all a nice shoe 
Now issue for bowling, of course I don't bowl seam, so I wouldn't know about how good or bad the shoe is with me in regards to another pair of um, bowling boots. But I can't ask for update as time goes by as to how the shoe performs over a period of time. Of course we are not playing cricket currently in our country, um, other than on the international level. But hopefully this COVID pandemic ends soon and we can get to go back out there and use these goods that we have been buying, right? So this is Gmail again from Centurion Sports. Feel free to like and subscribe. Any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try to get back to you. Have a good day.